It is dirt here. I'm ready about an awesome autumn. That's why it's called Awesome Autumn. So here goes. Autumn is a season of awesome changes. Look around autumn and you'll see a lot of changes happening. These changes take plants, animals, and people from the hot days of summer to the cold days of winter. Days get colder. At the beginning of autumn, you might be comfortable running around in a t-shirt and shorts. So your clothes get heavier. By the end of autumn, you're more likely to be wearing a sweater, long pants, and a jacket. Days get shorter. Autumn begins on the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere. That's a day near September 22nd, when day and night are both 12 hours long. And that get longer. Autumn ends in the winter solstice. In the northern hemisphere, that's a day near December 22nd. That's the shortest day of the year. Leaves change color. Why do leaves change? To understand the answer, you need to know why leaves are green in spring and summer. The green color in a leaf comes from chlorophyll. On light, you plants make their own food and you they use chlorophyll to do it. This green chemical traps air energy from sunlight. Plants use the energy to grow. Summer days are long and bright, so leaves have plenty of light to make food. In autumn days get shorter. Many plants stop making food when daylight decreases. As days get shorter, leaves stop producing chlorophyll. The trees don't need any more. When the chlorophyll is gone, we can see new colors in the leaves. Those are the colors of autumn. Another name for autumn is fall. But how do leaves know when it's time to fall? Some trees have leaves that can't survive in winter. Their branches and trunks are strong enough to live for the cold. Short days ahead, but they're Thin green leaves are too delicate and will die in the cold. That's when why the, these trees drop them. Leaves have veins that carry fluids in the, in the leaf. As on days get shorter, the veins begin to close off. Fluids start moving in and out. A layer forms at the base of each leaf where it hangs on the tree. Finally, this layer completely seals off the leaf from, from the tree. When the leaf is no longer connected to the living part of the tree, it can fall. Trees that drop their leaves in the autumn are called deciduous trees. What happens to all those leaves? Leaves that fall can help keep the environment healthy. As they break down, they give food to the earth and to tiny living things in the soil. Fallen leaves also act as sponges. They mix with the soil to help it hold rain water. What trees do these leaves come from? Ash, acacia, beech, birch, dogwood, chestnut, elm, ginkgo, hickory, hornbeam, linden, oaks, maples, tulip trees, sassafras, sweet gums, willow. What else falls to the ground? Acorns, maple seeds, horse chestnuts, buckeyes, opposite oranges, monkey brains, pine cones, onion locust seed pods, Chinese lanterns, and plain tree nuts. How does autumn feel? Fluffy, bumpy, smooth, icy, slimy, spiky, slippery, crispy, warm, soft, and hard. Not every change is in autumn. Evergreens stay evergreen. Evergreens are tough enough to stay green all winter. The needles on our leaves are covered with a heavy wax that helps them survive in the winter. This wax keeps the moisture in uh, evergreen from freezing. Pine, spruce, hemlock, holly, cedar, fir. Autumn brings frost. How does frost form? Frost is frozen dew, but what's dew? It looks invisible, but it isn't empty. Air always has some moisture in it. The air close to the ground gets moisture from soil and plants. During cool nights, the moisture in the air also cools. Moisture becomes droplets on plants, the ground, and even spider webs. These drops are dew. And on them, nighttime temperatures can drop below the freezing point. Moisture in the air freezes into ice crystals. That's frost. And it can mean trouble for plants. When the temperature is cold enough to form frost, water inside the plant freezes too. 
As a result, the plant may die. Before the frost comes, it's time to harvest crops. Farmers use everything from their hands to mining machines. Some crops are best harvested by hands to make sure they don't get bruised. Other crops are best harvested by machine. A combine is used to harvest grains like wheat, barley, rye, and corn. The name comes from the fact that it combines three different jobs. Cutting, freshing, and cleaning. First, the machine pushes stalks of grain into the correct position and cuts them. Next, a conveyor carries the grain into the threshing drum. That's where the chaff, the outer part of the grain that can't be eaten, is moved. Find the grain is cleaned and then transferred to a truck that carries it to be milled. How does autumn taste? Lots of crops are ripe and ready to eat in the fall. Apples, pe pumpkins, pears, plums, and more. A cornucopia is a horror of plenty its fill of fruits, nuts, and vegetables that you can taste in autumn. What shape is autumn? Look at shaped in autumn. What do you see that's round? What do you see that's shaped like a triangle or an eye? How does autumn sound? Boo, spooky nights. Mmm, munching, tasty fall treats. Honk, geese on the go. Wrinkle leaves on your feet. Swoosh, wind in trees. Hooray, fans at a football game. Flack, combined cunny wheat. Hiss, black Halloween cats. Gobble, Thanksgiving turkey. In autumn, some birds leave town. Many birds migrate. They fly south to spend the winter where it is warmer and food is more plentiful. You might see these or other birds flying in a V. This pattern saves energy. The bird in front works the hardest, cutting through the air's resistance. The air behind the front bird has a little rest, less resistance. So it's easy to fly through. Birds take turns flying in front. You have some birds that migrate. Swans, duck, egret, pelican, goose are to turn. A tiny arctic turn has the longest migration of any animal. Every year, this four ounce bird flies more than 44,000 miles from Greenland. So her arms are gone back again. Migrant isn't just for birds. Ocean waters get colder in the autumn. The autumn. Dolphins and whales also migrate, following warmer water currents. Some insects migrate too. Mahara butterflies, grasshoppers, and some dragonflies travel hundreds or even thousands of miles to reach their winter homes. Some animals don't migrate south, they migrate down. Mountain goats, bighorn sheep, and elk that live high in the mountains during the summer move down to lower, warmer lands in the autumn. Some animals don't move in autumn, instead they stop moving. Many animals become much less active in the late fall. Chimmucks, hedgehogs, bats, frogs, toads, and even airborns hibernate. They seem to be sleeping for a very, very long time. Their body temperature and heartbeat decrease. They live on fat stored in the body. Bears spend the cold season in caves, hollow trees, or dens. They can sleep for as long as a month, but they can also wake up if they aren't threatened. Before they go to sleep, bears prepare their sleeping areas by laying them with dried leaves and grasses. These materials help to keep out the cold. Animals who stay away in the winter will use autumn days to get ready for the cold. Many animals stay where they all are year round. In autumn, they gather food while it is plentiful. Squirrels, beavers, and other mammals store food for the winter. Some animals, like foxes, grow thicker fur in the autumn. This helps stay, them stay warm as temperatures drop. Other mammals, like the snowshoe, hair, and the uh, mine, a even change colors. The fur changes from brown to white to blend in the, with the winter snow. What do people do in autumn? Rags leave into a pile and jump. Play soccer and football. People still play baseball on them too. The World Series ends baseball season in October. Will you be on Halloween? Halloween comes every October 31st. It began as a holiday to bridge the light part of the year and the dark part. 
People wore masks and thousands of stare away spirits from the dark world. Today, many kids wear costumes to go trick or treating. Some costumes are scary and others are silly. When you put on a costume, you get to pretend you are someone or something else for a little while. What food will you share on Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving started as a harvest festival. Families gather together to show they are thankful for the food of the growing season. Thanksgiving traditions go back to 1621. The pilgrims of the Plymouth colony wanted to celebrate the first successful harvest in a new country. The one pack and heart and Easter Native American tribe joined the festivities which lasted three days. Green beans, stuffing, pumpkin pies, cranberry sauce, gravy, sweet corn, Brussels sprouts, pumpkin pie, and mashed potatoes. Turkey. People in the United States celebrate Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday in November in Canada. Thanksgiving comes on the second Monday in October. Finally, the last change of autumn arrives. Awesome autumn turns into wonderful winter. Soon, the cool of fall turns into the cold of winter. Tree branches are bare. A blanket of fresh snow might cover the leaves on the ground. What other changes will winter bring? Some awesome autumn activities. Leaf rubbings, press leaves, roasted pumpkin seeds, hand turkey, farm mobile, gore geese. It's in the painted for instructions. The end. I hope I like this book by the awesome autumn. By the way, I'm sorry I had to start reading after it bits of instructions for all the fall activities. But anyway, I hope you're ready to do your activities at home because when it's fall, be like a treat and leave. Subscribe to this channel.